The Google Pixel Watch, the long desired, much rumored, and in many ways, mostly forgotten smartwatch from Google. For many, the Google Pixel Watch felt like nothing more than just a dream of many Google Pixel fans longing for a smartwatch that encompassed the purity of Google's vision for Android devices and the hope of a more robust ecosystem or devices similar to that that you see from Apple. Well, dream no more. My buddy John Prosser over at Front Page Tech has received leaked images of the Google Pixel Watch and a few bits of information. So let's check it out, talk about it design, potential features, release date, pricing, and I'll share some of my thoughts along the way after we talk about how you can get a slice of free stock up to $50 on companies you actually care about like Tesla, Apple, Beyond Meat, and more by signing up for public. It's a free stock trading app with a social component. So go ahead and sign up, talk to me there, see what investments I'm making and more. Click the link down below in the description to sign up. It's uh, like free money. First, we have to answer the question, why has it taken so long? Well, if you've used an Android based smartwatch using Wear OS, you know that it's not exactly the smooth this most polished experience out there. It's also not as powerful as something you'd see in an Apple Watch, and that largely comes down to the limitations of Qualcomm and their wearable processors. Unfortunately, wearables are a bit of an afterthought for Qualcomm, which leaves Google in a really difficult position. Looking at Apple, we can see the benefit of them developing their own chips for their own products. Well, thankfully, this year, we're expecting to see the fruit of Google's investments in developing their own chips with Samsung and products like the upcoming Google Pixel 6 with the GS101 chip, and yes, like the Google Pixel Watch. We'll get to see the tight integration of hardware and software according to the marketing material, something that Apple has enjoyed for well over a decade. What specific type of chip we'll see in the Google Pixel Watch? Well, we're not quite sure yet. What we do know is that the upcoming Google Watch will be part of an upcoming Android update called Nex, and the watch's codename Rohan. Is that name based upon its root meaning of ascending, or something from the mind of J.R.R. Tolkien? I'm not sure, but we're definitely talking about this and more in the This Is Tech Today community discord chat server, so come hang out with us and maybe dig through some code to help put together some of the pieces. Now for the design. We have the common silicone wrist strap similar to that of a Galaxy Watch Active 2 and the Apple Watch fitness bands, but with notches on the inside of the band to keep it clean and minimal looking. That minimalistic design is something that I've really appreciated from Google. John said that his source mentioned that there would be around 20 different watch bands. For the watch itself, we are getting something quite typical of non-Apple devices like the Samsung Galaxy Active 2 and the new OnePlus watch. It has a clean circular design with a focus on being bezel-less. Whether or not this bezel round smartwatch will have an invisible rotating bezel like we've seen on the Galaxy Watch Active 2 or not, we're not quite sure about either. If they don't have something like that in the Google Pixel Watch, it'll be really disappointing as it's a really clever and intuitive way to interact with a smartwatch. That leads me to another question. Does the Google Pixel Watch have projects solely in it? We've seen Google work on this technology quite a bit over the years, even showing it off in the past in a prototype smartwatch where you can use fine finger gestures to interact with the smartwatch to get it to do certain things. After the Google Pixel 4 and its subpar execution of Project Soli's capabilities and its eventual removal from the Pixel 5, many thought that Project Soli was done. But for those who have been paying attention, Rick Ostrello has stated that ambient computing is a large focus for Google's hardware division. That has already shown up in small ways like the new Nest thermostat and the new Nest Hub, which I just got in the mail. Stay tuned for that review. I hear subscribing for free and hitting the bell icon can help with being notified of when that video comes out, so you know, maybe do that. Anyways, the idea and possibility of Soli being in the Google Pixel Watch would certainly be aligned with what Google is trying to do, but unfortunately, we don't have any indication of it being in there or not being in there. So when's it coming out? Well, John is trying to lock in some dates, but the fact that there are marketing images of the devices with branding certainly gives us the confidence of it being sooner rather than later. As long as there aren't some unforeseen delays like a, a mass chip shortage, um, <clears throat> we, we might see it later on this year. Fingers crossed perhaps in uh, October when the main Google Pixel phone is usually announced. Speaking of chips, the fact that Google is using their own custom silicon in this device is a great sign. Making your own chips is not cheap, and the only way to make it more economical is to buy, make, and use them in significant quantities. Part of that reduction in cost comes from contractual commitments to order large quantities of chips from Samsung, who will handle the fab process. Then you have to make the chips, which may be a different variation of the same general chip, like what we're seeing in Apple's new silicon for computers. And that also saves on research and development costs. Then you gotta put them in everything. The Google Pixel alone won't be able to use enough of the chips to reach a significant benefit from the economies of scales. And if we're honest, that's 
smartwatch won't dramatically change that number of chips used either, but it'll still help. The real boost will come from Chromebooks, which Google intends on using their own custom silicon in as well. It's important to note that Apple is able to enjoy the economies of scales for their Macs, so the fact that Chromebooks outsold Macs in 2020 is a very encouraging piece of data. The combination of all these products, smartphones, smartwatches, Chromebooks, and more add up to a whole, giving the benefit of economies of scale, and hopefully an affordable smartwatch that is also really powerful and capable. But holy Google. So here's what I want you to do. Go follow me on Twitter at This Is Tech Day. Copy the link to this video and post it on Twitter along with what you hope to see in the Google Pixel Watch and what would make it especially Google, especially compared to everyone else. Don't forget to tag me at This Is Tech Today so I can see it and I'll respond to your ideas and thoughts and even retweet some of you to get the discussion going. Of course, you can let me know in the comments of this video as well as in the This Is Tech Today community discord server. Thanks for watching This Is Tech Today. Until next time.